Hey, welcome back to an exciting episode of Your Mall. Today we are on the second installment of Running with Sherman. And uh, we want to continue on finding out what happened to Sherman and you know what we can learn uh, from the donkey that has uh, what was it? A, heart a heart of a hero. <laughs> a okay. heart of a hero. Uh, yeah. yeah, so sadly, um, just a quick recap. The, the book that we're going to be talking about today is um, um, Running with Sherman. It's uh, The Donkey with the Heart of a Hero by the author Christopher McDougall. We we uh, talked about it yesterday, but um, you know this book is about uh, a sick donkey uh, that was um, um, on death's door, basically, and he was taken in by um, the, the author of the book uh, who lived on a farm in Amish country in Pennsylvania, and they um, uh, slowly but surely um, uh, were able to uh, find a way to get Sherman healthy again and get him back to his donkey ways, and and um, uh, eventually, you know, he ended up thriving and, and succeeding and, and, and all that good stuff. So um, the the um, the reflection for today is about the the Sherman transformation. So um, uh, we kind of we kind of when I said unfortunately, like uh, to begin this one, we kind of accidentally talked a lot about this yesterday because you know yesterday was about movement as medicine and mm-hmm. um, and you know how like when Sherman started moving again, that was when his body started healing. Um, uh, but then we, then we went into you know our be- normal beaver talk and all this other stuff and you know around purpose and all these other things, right? But um, right. Uh, sa- sadly, that kind of ruined reflection too a little bit. But I'll go through it here. So, <laughs> um, so the the Sherman transformation. What what are we, what, are we, <laughs> what, 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 are, what are we talking about here? So, um, uh, first off, I didn't know anything about donkeys before I read this book. Like it, it, like donkeys are actually pretty damn cool. I kind of like them a lot. They're um, they have uh-huh. like really neat, colorful personalities apparently, and um, and they're like uh really stubborn um so they just they they you know always keep you guessing why they're doing what they're doing but um but you know that's when they're happy and healthy right that's when they're doing their their donkey, donkey stuff, right? must be a donkey but, yeah donkey <laughs> must donkey. Uh, so uh so when we like we like what we talked about when we first met sherman i mean this 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 poor donkey had been stripped of everything that made him a donkey um uh he'd been traumatized by his previous owner like we talked about yesterday the guy kept him in mm-hmm. a tiny shed and and um and and locked him up basically he didn't mean to i mean like from what from what the the the, the story that we were told he none of this was like intentional that the owner thought he was doing good for the dog or for 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 sherman but he, he he clearly wasn't he didn't know he didn't know how donkeys worked you know apparently um mm-hmm. but uh you know when he when he discovered that sherman was you know very ill he he tried you know to give him away to see if somebody could help him or something like that right so that was mm-hmm. how he ended up at the Mc, the mcdougall's household um so what did we talked about this yesterday, but like, what did, what did, you know, Christopher McDougall do? Um, he, the, the compound effect of all the, of the, the stripping Sherman of, of his donkey hood, um, uh, had taken full swing. I mean, he was, he was literally on death's door. I mean, he was like, when they got to, to the McDougall's household, he was, it was life and death situation. Like, I mean, he could, he could pass away at any time. He couldn't move. He couldn't walk. He could. And when you take away a donkey's ability to move and walk, like, like that, apparently that's, that means they're, they're going to die. So um, yeah, that's the last cigarette. Yeah, it's pretty much. Yeah. I mean, you know, he's like, I don't know what to do. I can't, I can't, you know. Um, so, uh, um, so how did uh, the McDougal's, you know, figure this thing out? Like, you know, we talked about it a little bit yesterday, but um, uh, the grand plan was, was this no joke. It was let's give Sherman a job and give Sherman people to do that job with. That was, that was literally, that was the, that was it. That was the plan. Like, right. right? <laughs> you know, like, let's give this donkey something to do and give this donkey somebody to do it with uh and um and that was when the the, the slow start to sherman trying around the um to the fence line and he would go see um this other donkey and they would um you know they would hang out a little bit and then he would slowly creep out a little bit further and then he would slowly creep out a little bit further and finally they got this idea in mind of like you know let's get him running again and that was when slowly but surely they started running a little bit more each day and then they started doing longer trails and then they started you know, then the idea came where, oh, you know what? Let's run this 15 mile race in, in Leadville, Colorado, 10,000 um, uh, 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 feet up, and 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 you know, and and let's see what see, see what Sherman can do now that he's like really healthy and and it fixed him. Um, mm-hmm. uh, you know, this um, this this process it really did fix Sherman. Uh, and and really, like, the answer was purpose is powerful, right? <laughs> like it's 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 that purpose has that much power it can help you to overcome pain and trauma it can help you to overcome 
uh, it can give you energy, it can give you life, it can give you joy, it can give you fulfillment. It's it's really everything. It can take you from a donkey that's that's literally dying with no purpose to a donkey that's thriving and and running, uh, you know, at, at ten thousand meet, uh, feet meters up in the air and 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 uh, and running a fifteen mile borough race, you know, as fast as his little donkey legs can go. You know, I mean, it was having a blast. You could just from everything that they describe in the book, like this guy was just having a having a having a blast. And it made me think so much about. Um, if you remember back to the, the the song of Achilles, um, one that we talked about, you can't run away from your purpose. Um, you know, uh, which was you know Achilles spent his whole entire life trying to trying to not fulfill his his the, the his purpose that he was told when he was really young, and, and it, how, the the negative ramifications it cost him of all that. Um, and uh, and it just reminded me today of like in today's day and age, how often you know we're kind of the humans are are the the donkeys in a shed. You know, we let other people strip us of our of our humanity and our purpose. And, you know, we sit in our cubicles and we don't move and, you know, we slowly just wither away. And like we talked about this yesterday a lot, you know, if you don't use it, you lose it kind of thing. And and I mean, sadly, I feel like we're just, we're just all a bunch of bunch of Shermans out there. But it really does not take very much to change that trajectory if you don't want to. Um, we don't have to live lives uh, that, that are that are that are beholden to to financial debtors and and workplaces and and employers and we we the, all the things that are slowly you know stripping our humanity of us like we can do just like sherman did and uh you know make sure that we um uh, go forward with the purpose get a job and get the people around you that you like to do it with and it's really that simple and you'll find a whole lot of joy and fulfillment i mean look at us like every every stupid night we're on this thing talking about donkeys and beavers and and you know whatever else like you know we got we got a job to do and we're happy to do it and like you know it gives me motivation to wake up and write the next morning and do that stuff with amelia and keep doing this whole entire process and like it's uh um yeah i mean it, it's it's it purpose is incredibly powerful and uh um you know it's not very hard just ask some questions figure out what you like the most and uh and go do it and, and do it and live life for the purpose you know so anyway that's the that's the reflection like i said kind of kind of kind of screwed it up a little bit yesterday because we spent so much time talking about donkeys and purposes and beavers and you know all that other stuff um but um but that's okay um you know it uh, i'm sure we'll have a fun conversation again today but you know just the power of purpose it's it's a it's an incredible thing that can take you from death's door to to a fulfilling life and and it really isn't that difficult difficult so yeah i'd love to get your thoughts yeah so to me this is like uh, you know the example of spiraling up right you know, the moment you can gala just for one or two steps. And then that gala will actually, you know, in turn affect something else that make it a little bit stronger. If that thing yeah. make it stronger, give you ability to gala a little bit more than you had before. And, you know, it's just spiraling up, out of, up. I mean, so spiraling down and spiraling up, I mean, it, it has, um, it can go both ways. But it reminds me of, of how, you know, a little bit, at a time starts to affect the other things that, you know, just like we asked, we, we said before, is that, that, that there's a lot of things that depend on one another. Just like when we talk about, you know, you, me, running the circle, you know, right. who's who's in front and who's behind. I mean, that's that's the beauty of all these things that play together in unison. So once you build something that is going to give you a, a little uh, advantage, that eventually we actually makes the other things to start to crank. And then when it starts to crank, it's going to start to um, have it's this feedback. No, it's a yeah, flywheel, it's a, a yeah. feedback that kind of makes it continue to make it better and better and better. And I think um, looking at, I mean, we can talk about purpose, but today I want to I want to talk about, you know, the, the reason why... <clears throat> We are such a depressed and desperate state. Yeah. Right. And 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 I want to talk about um, the, I guess the the um, the desire to bring forth a company like tribe because I've seen so many people is you know sick and tired of their their the, the way they live. Right. They, they depressed. They work all day long. They barely see each other. They sleep deprived. They stress out. I yep. mean, it's a spiral so it down. It's a spiral yeah. down because it, because the thing is, you 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 you're working more. You when you work more, you sleep less. When you sleep less, you have less health. When you have less health, you work. You your output becomes less. 
And right. so you see how that spiral out of control and we have become enslaved to this society, this, this matrix, quote unquote, what you want to, whatever you want to call it, we enslaved to this thing. We becomes a tool for whatever system that, you know, they, it, it, that needs to run. And we are basically so a, 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 cog, in the know, wheel. a cog in the wheel. And right. so, so to me, this is where people need to wake up because the 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 current state of you know how we live our lives and stripped of our purpose it's a is an imagery of you know Sherman putting in tiny shed and has no freedom to do what he's supposed to do with the best of intentions I'll give you um uh, of somebody else like that's the th that's the weird part about all this is like Nobody was like just torturing Sherman because they wanted to torture Sherman. I don't think anybody tortures us, you know, like what, what you're talking about, because they mm -hmm. want to torture us. I, they think that they are doing the right thing. They think, well, he's safe. He's protected. He's in the shed. He's doing what he's, you know, like I, I got him. Like I feed him every day. Like, you know, you know, he's, but, he, but that's not what we're here for. We're here to do something. You know, we're here to fulfill something way bigger than we than, must. Than, we must be who we are. A beaver yeah. must stand. A painter must paint. You exactly. say, hey, you know. Do not, you know, go through pain of painting and, and figuring out how to how to make things look pretty and creative and all that. Right? The thing is, you say, hey, you know, why are you breathing? It takes so much effort. You waste so much energy, you know, just right. you know, pinch your nose. Say, hey, you know, hey, little kid, you know, you don't need to breathe that much. You know, maybe right, breathe right. Once, in, once in a while, you know. And well, sometimes if I love you so device. much, like yeah. don't, don't breathe at all, right? right? And so that's the thing is, the, the desperations of the current status of society in the world today, it is to me, in a way, it's so desperate because I'm, I'm looking left and right, forward and backward. Everywhere I see is this complete, like, isolation from what we're supposed to be, what we're supposed to do. Right. And, and that basically strips off, strip off of our characteristic. It, it strip off of the kind of things that make us who we are. And so, like I said, you know, we have been given a combination of different DNAs that DNA must manifest. If it doesn't manifest, then, I mean, it just withers away and, and disappear. And you look right. at any any animal, not just human, but I'm talking about some animal as, as, as you know, like, like a donkey, right? A donkey doesn't have the complexity of a human being, but to put a, a, a donkey in a shed, shelter from the rain, shelter from the sun, shelter from the, the I don't know, the uh, the harmful bugs or whatever you right. want to call it. At least these nuance um, that you think that, hey, I'm doing uh, this donkey a favor, but essentially, but you know, in reality, it's the opposite. You, you are not allowing him to manifest himself in a way that that express who he is. Then he's not right. a donkey. He's not. He's not anything. He's just, yeah. He's just. A, he's just. He's just dying. <laughs> like I mean. He's just, like, I mean. He's, just, he's not a thing because it, yeah. it, it starts to disappear. That thing, right. whatever you want to label it, like a donkey, a bee, a beaver, a dog, a wolf, whatever, a human, whatever yeah. that thing is, it start to it cease to exist. Yeah. Right. And apply that to human beings. It's a miserable existence because it human is. being has the ability to, 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 uh, to take everything in and run it in his mind. All I mean, I mean that it, it heightens that sense of, of like pain that, that you have because you have the right. ability to, 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 to imagine it. To have thoughts about thoughts, you know, yeah. have thoughts about thought. And th that creates this, this magnitude of, I don't, I don't know how I would label it, but it, it's, it's a magnitude it's, it's, of... You remember, you remember the hell loop that we talked about with the trauma yes, the and the imagination loop. thing? Exactly. It's a hell it's, loop. Sitting, it is sitting a hell loop. Shed, sitting in a shed every single day doing the same thing over and over again and never, you know, novelty unfolds, you know, time um, and, and monotony compresses it, uh, you know, or it's... it's The opposite. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, novelty compresses time, uh, monotony and No, no. No, it was right. The novelty unfolds time. Like, uh, it, yeah, yeah and, right. And monotony compresses okay. it, you know. So it feels like it feels like you know, time is 
going so slow um with you when you do new stuff because it's always interesting and fun right like and it seems like things happen anyway like it, it's it's that same sentiment as well like you know like that's that's purpose 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 is novelty it's new it's actions it's it's continuing to do something that aligns to your to to to, to what you're supposed to do every single day it's it's going to explore a new, new trail if you're sherman you know with your buddies like you know and and going no this right. is fun I like, I like running through the Creek, you know, like, this is great. Like, where are we going to go tomorrow? Like, you know, I love running. Like, this is what I do. Like, right. This, because, like, because the thing is, on my exploration, back. Go, exploration know? is the essence of the human spirit. And the dog spirit. That, <laughs> no, but that's man, beyond that. Because what I'm saying is that the DNA that we, we have and we may share with a donkey, it is the ability to explore. We cannot stand still. That's to to uh, to me. It's the ultimate uh, to ultimate expressions of the gene. Is we can sense it because I, I I said many times uh, over is you know you you want to do something and then when you get to it you want to do the next step and the next step and the next step and the next step yeah. right you go on and you want to go on vacation right you pack you hurry and pack you know hurry get to the airport and then hurry get on the airplane hurry yeah, take off home. And, then, <laughs> and then when you when, when the plane landed, they say, hurry get get off yeah. right so we need to have motion because the, the it's the it's the the differences that's why you know we we, we talk about the um the happiness hypothesis right you're talking about somebody has nothing right and he won a thousand dollar his his he go from zero to a thousand dollar He's elated, right? Because there's a big jump from from nothing to a thousand dollar. But for somebody to go from from a thousand dollar to two thousand dollar, that's not much. And then the, the the elation is not as much. It's the same thing as we have the gene that needs to express itself in that manner. The the, the gene that we have, in the essence, is we have to explore new things to have this quote unquote novelty. Right. If we don't have the novelty, then we are we are suppressing that gene, and that genes is what make us human. And yes, donkey has some other gene, at you know, at you know, to a certain degree. But because human has the more complex, uh, we, we think we, we, design. We think. <laughs> well, I mean, it, it's a good guess. We don't know. I, yeah, I mean, we don't. Know. I don't know, but yeah, it's yeah, good guess yeah. based on based on you know what a car donkey does and what you and right. I can do. Sure. Um, Right, so you know, extrapolate that a little bit. I mean, I'm not saying it's 100. percent I'm just saying, hey, you know, this is my guess until somebody tell me, hey, you know, there's a flaw in it, and then tell me. I mean, I'm yeah. I'm 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 considerate of that, but that's I mean, that's the thing is, you know, we have to express the the DNA. So to kind of lay the landscape of how things are, right? The the, the things, the state, the status of the the the. Uh, the current landscape, it is very desperate, meaning you, me, everybody else is in this enslavement of society and this matrix yeah. or whatever you want to call this, the current present, right? Because what, what do you do? Well, you, you're born, uh, you get, uh, you know, basically very little time from your parents. You get a nanny or somebody to watch over you. You never see your parent. Uh, when you are one year old or maybe six months or even less, you get shipped to daycare. And and right? You am I, am I all right? Yeah, so yeah, that's the, the and then once you once you start if you're lucky, uh, like if you're if you're a lot lucky. of people, it's like a lot of people after three months, if they're even if they even get three months, you know? I mean yes. like and then and then what 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 <laughs> happens after that is that you get into pre K, right? You spend all day in school. And then sometimes you have after this activity, blah blah. So you live you're, in you're a life where told. you never see your parents, and your parents right. never see you, and right, you 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 um you sleep eight hours a day, right? You work eight hours a day, and then the other eight hours, what do you do? You have like, oh, I have to cook, oh, I have to to clean, I have to um do homework, I have to find the bullshit, right? right? That takes up the the rest of the other eight hours. So the it's thing always is, somebody else's agenda too. It's always it's always and so so the thing is you never get to do what you want. No. And nothing that n- you never get to do what you supposed to be doing because you, you know the, the 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 number one regret that that we always that every book that I've ever read on 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 people dying that that don't miss the point right like it's always 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 I wish I would have done more stuff with more the the stuff that I loved with the people that I love like it's always. 
what the regret like it's always the epiphany that people have that's the epiphany you know, that's always yeah. the same epiphany from every person that is ever it's, able to give you some advice you know before leaving is say hey don't miss a point right the the point of life isn't to work because you think about like let's like you go through the you go through the 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 the, the life you know the life journey of a person right cuz you were born 3 months 3 weeks you get shipped to daycare and then you never see your parent because your parent is in spiral to the point where they have no time because they're stressed out to the max they have so much um stress and so much um things for whatever they had to do right right they had to do this had to do that and then right they don't have no time for them and then they they continue to to try to make things better but at the same time makes it worse because let's say they work more okay Let's say they work more to say, you say, hey, I'm barely able to pay the bill. So I got to work more. You okay. work more. And then what, when, when you work more, what, what happens? You, you sleep less. You get sleep deprived, right? Right. And once you say that sleep deprived, your body is not repairing as, much, as fast. And so your health deteriorates. And your health deteriorates, right? Then that means you, you, your performance at work becomes poor and you have become less valuable and then you can't make the extra pay raise or even you get fired you can't get a job because you have to work or have to let go and learn more uh, and re-educate yourself or you know learn more extra things to kind of make yourself marketable and so that's a spiral and then you you do the same fucking thing for the next 50 to 60 years until you finally retire right and so you look at the life of a single person an average persons, a typical person in the world today, you are not expressing who you are. You are told to do this so you can pay the bills, pay yeah, the bills. So you the can, shed. You're locking the shit. And so to me, describing the, the, the typical life of a human being, it's like you're basically a fucking battery in a matrix, just like the, the, the Matrix movie. Yeah. You are used as a tool. You are used as a as a resources I, to often often with good intentions. So I'm not I'm not I don't want to like make it sound like regardless those, of whether it's good intention or not. I mean the, the result right. is still the but same. But still stripping you of is, your still stripping you of your of you. You you, know? like, you basically yeah. you're basically a donkey in a shed. Yeah. Regardless, I mean I don't want I mean I don't want to you know kind of yeah uh, you know discuss about you know whether it's. Good versus evil, whatever. That's right. That's besides the point. It doesn't uh, matter. You're in, still a in this conversation. Yeah, you're, right. you're still yeah. you still lock in the shed. You still right. not a donkey. Therefore, you cease to exist of that entity, whatever that entity that who you are. You cease to exist, and right. that means you die early. I mean, it basically deteriorates, and you do you you just disappear. I mean, you just become a dead a dead body, a dead mass of something. And so to me, that's the landscape that we have right now. And so we, as a tribe of company members, need to wake up, right? So now we understand the, 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 the issues at hand. How are we going to solve this? Right. And this is where it goes, transition that into what you talk about in today's reflection is, how do you do that? And, to, to, and to today's reflection is the, the answer, right? <laughs> right? Because because you can go from the bottom to the point where you are smoking your last cigarettes right. to the point where you have this little nudge, just a little tiny nudge, that the uh, ability to affect the other things, making you spiral upward into the point where you have this transformation. Yeah. Because that, the purpose is essentially the, the outlet for the gene to express. And once you let it express, it will bloom. So that to me is I want to transition from from describing to you the the, the problem of how desperate we are in today's society to what are we doing to get out of it, to have a a, a silver lining at the end of the tunnel. Right, 100%. I mean, then it's, and it's, it's really not a hard thing. We've, I mean, I, I know this whole journey, I say all that to say that it's not hard, but it's taken us, Two and a half years, and you know, three hundred and ten reflections now. But I think that's the on only today. outlet we have. No, I mean, I, the thing I mean, is, if, if if you if you if you are born with a certain set of genes, you have to be it, and it, the only way to do it is to blue to 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 manifest in whatever space 
you know, I was that, I was telling, that it, it gives you. Uh, and once, my, you, and once you do that, right, it, it's going to continue to to give you more room, and eventually you can bust out of it. Uh, agreed. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. But I uh, I was telling my one of my employees today. Um, uh, we were having a one on one, and and I was talking to him about their job and and how when I was uh, an AE at Salesforce, I I I. It, <laughs> I wasn't great at it because like everything about that job didn't align to my values and what I was really good at. And I'm talking about the job itself. I'm not talking about the company. I'm not talking about the culture. Right. I'm talking about the actual job itself. Everything about it. I am not a project manager. I'm not a detail oriented. I'm not a, I'm not a quarterback of a team. Like I'm a creative thinker. I'm an, I'm an innovator. I'm an idea person. I love, I have a lot of energy and I have a lot of, uh, I keep a lot of the stuff up here. Right. And I'm thinking all day long and I'm questioning, I'm doing a lot of this stuff. I, I definitely am a great sales professional. Like when I've been, you know, in other environments that I'm just focused on selling and just doing what I'm doing. Like, I mean, nobody touches me, but like that job wasn't just sales. That job was way more project management. I bring this up to say, I, one of the things I've been having them work on is, is, is their backhand, right? So in, in tennis, you have, um, uh, you know, a forehand, everybody has a great forehand for the most part. It's easier, it's the easier shot to hit. And it's usually a weapon for most people. Mm -hmm. Most people's biggest problems are the backhands and everybody right. knows. It. So like whenever I start a tennis match, my, my first strategy always, if I've never played a person before, it's I'm hitting the ball to their backhand until they can show me that they can, that they can get out of that, that, that mess and, and, uh, and, and push me back and, and, and flip the script a little bit. And I, I mean, that's all I'm doing. I'm not trying to do anything. That is, that is go-to play. Number one, it is, it is beat up their backhand until they can prove to me that, that they can't, they're not going to get beat up on their backhand, um, whether it's a weapon or whether it's not like, they're just need to prove to me that it's not that, that I, that I can't just easily beat them because that's their weakness. Right. So right. one of the things I've been having them work on is, is, you know, work on your backhand. We'll talk about this in a reflection in the future, actually, because this is a, from this and this is derived from that. But as mm -hmm. I was telling him, as I was telling him this, he has a similar backhand to me. He's not a great project manager. Um, and I was like, look, if you want to be really good at this job, that's what you got to do. I was like, ironically, I, I didn't want to do that job anymore because I, you know, I get to hit my forehand in this job all day long and it feels so much better. I love it so much more. I get to have meaningful conversations, lead people, help coach, you know, all this other stuff, right? Do the things mm -hmm. that I love to do. And it's easy. I was like, a part of me wants to say, you know, no, nobody's challenging me to work on my backhand. I could get better. And I know that I could get better. I know this is my backhand still, but, but damn it, I get to hit forehands all day long and I got a fucking great forehand. You know what I mean? Like, and, and it feels real good when I, when I'm just, you know, blasting, you know, 90 mile an hour, you know, shots down the line and people are going shit. You know what I mean? Like, it, <laughs> like it, it just feels good, you know? And, and it's like, it's like a part of me wants to say, you know, focus on your backhand, but like, but like this goes back to the purpose conversation of no, like, I mean, I, I don't even know that it's even the right thing to say to people. It's like, just do like, that's like telling a beaver, look, you're great at beavering. Like, and I know that you could, if you could beaver 24 seven, like, I think you would do some amazing stuff and I think you would absolutely love it. Right. But you know, you should really be focused on like, uh, I don't know, what's a, what's a side thing that the beavers could do to like make sure that they could keep their dams longer. Um, I don't know. They should focus on reinforcing their dam or something like that. Mm -hmm. and, and he's like, and the beaver's like, well, I don't like reinforcing, but, but I get it. Like, like, that's my weakness. Like I'll just build, I'll just build more dams, you know? And they're like, they're like, no, no, no. But like, you know, this, you know, if you just reinforce this like thing, like it would, it would stay longer. And you're like, yeah, but I fucking hate reinforcing this stuff, you know? And you're like, well, but you got to do it, you know? And you're like, no, I don't have to do it. Like, I don't have to do it. <laughs> it's not a beaver, man. Like, you know, um, uh, so anyway, I, 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 I'm going on a, on a tangent about this, but like to, 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 but to, this is, to, to, to the point that you're making is, you know, it, it this is where the meaningful relationship is, is so powerful. Right. Just because, because then it's, if you have a great forehand, right? You need somebody with great backhand and you compliment it and you can enjoy exactly. the exact exactly. same work that you do that's meaningful ah. to you. But then the other person it loves the backhand when he hates the forehand because right? My, this is where this is where meaningful work and meaningful relationship makes sense. I, I love that. My favorite partner to play play doubles with. I don't I don't love playing doubles because like uh, because I, I don't I, I don't, you gotta, you gotta have that right partner to play with, right? That my favorite mm -hmm. partner, I have two of them over the years that I've loved to play with. One of them has a big serve and he just rushes the net. I hate going into the net as fast as I can. I'm not, I'm not a, I'm not a great transition baseline player to the net. This guy just loves to hit a great serve and run as fast as he can into the net and just like, and, and just pounce on the ball. And I'm like, mm -hmm. yes, like, I don't love to do that, but like, I can do what I do best, which is like pick people apart from the baseline and slowly move in when I'm, when, 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 when it's ready to go, but I can pick people apart all day long from the baseline. And my other favorite partner is he has an incredible backhand. 
So like I cover the forehand side, he covers the backhand side and people are like, fuck, like, you know, like these two are impossible <laughs> to get anything by. Like, I mean, we're just blasted winners on both sides of the court and they're like, Jesus Christ. So like my favorite, like, you're so right. Like, like that is such an amazing point because you're, you're right. Like that, that's the point of meaningful relationships. Yes. If it's just, if it's just you and, and it's always just you and you're in, in you know, and in, in, yeah. And in singles, I got to work on my backhand. Right. Cause it's a, it's right. a, it's a, it's a kind environment, you know, like this is, this is the game. I need to address it in this particular game. And I'm okay with that, but like, and it, and it gives me a challenge to work on and it gives me something to do. Um, but like if I could hit a forehand all day long, God damn it. I would rather hit a forehand all day long, you know, like, uh, I mean, there's just no doubt about it. I think you just made such an, a brilliant point because you're right. That's when the partner comes in with with Sherman. That's when his running buddies and his and his little donkeys that they would lead him out there when he was all nervous and shit going out in the woods because he hadn't gone out there in a lot. Like mm -hmm. he just would suck, tuck right in, you know, fall behind them until he got confidence up. And then he was like, "Yo, I'm Sherman. I'm, I got my confidence now. I can I can bounce out there and go do what I need to go do." And he could find his his his, his forehand. You know what I mean? Like I, that's such an amazing point because you're right. Like that's where the that's where the meaningful, meaningful relationships are, are everything to this. Like, you know, and, and, and the meaningful relationship, it's, it's one of those spiral elements that I'm talking about is because you're looking at Sherman, right? He needed that, uh, that account buddy to kind of get him out there. But also the kid who came home from college, yeah, he's lost. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. The, the, the donkey, right? Needed that guy. That guy needed a donkey. Right, yep. because they both needed each other, and that's why they make a great team. Because exactly, if, and the thing is, the 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 guy who's lost who's lost without something to do, without something to someone to do it with, right? There's no um, interdependency where yeah. you depend on the other person. Because one, when when sure made a, a a stride in progress, it's gonna um, it's going to domino effect you know, the, 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 sure. the partner to, to make the, uh, you know, the next progress and vice versa. So that's just the spiral up. Right. And so to me, meaningful relationship is so powerful in that way. <laughs> and, and you yeah. can't, and you can't just do things just because you can, you know, this is the way I express myself, but to make yourself 10 times better is you have that spiral element partnership with something that counter, uh, counter balance you. Yes, a hundred percent. So, so we're talking about meaningful work, meaningful relationship, and the balance in in the whole formula of of what you know the the solutions to getting out of this slavery of who knows what. Right, and you and you do it together. I think that you're, I, man, you, you, I mean, you really stumbled upon a great point because now I'm like this. Is, Zeke was his name, um, uh, right. his running buddy, right? And and you know what happened with Zeke. It was an upward spiral with both of them. So exactly point, because they, uh, well, hang on, hang on. It, at one point in time, Zeke, like you know, he he started to get really into this, and he was seeing Sherman get better, and he was like, I want to, I want to make sure that I mm -hmm. give Sherman every chance that I can to have this successful race when they decided to go to this thing. So this is, I chuckled when you were saying this because, um, uh, at one point in time, Zeke started studying Wim Hof. Um, and, uh, and, and, and I'm not joking. So he was studying all these different things. And he was trying to figure out like, how can I, how can I increase my endurance to be able to stay with Sherman to be able to make sure that I'm always right there, right in his, uh, there's like a little pocket that, that people are supposed to run in with the burrows, mm -hmm. so, like gives them like safety and knows that they're there, but they don't like run into each other kind of thing. And, uh, mm -hmm. and he was like, I need to, I need to be able to keep pace with Sherman and make sure that I'm always, you know, like that, that rock for Sherman to make sure that he's there. Right. So he started trying to figure out ways that he could get better. Um, and he started studying, uh, Wim Hof. And then the whole the whole crew of the three of them that were running started taking these cold um, uh, river baths and stuff mm -hmm. like that. They would just go into the water and like focus on like cold baths and try to meditate in there. And they were doing all this other shit. And that, that was actually the the uh, when I decided, you know what, I'm going to try to check out this Wim Hof book because uh, um, uh, <laughs> uh, I'm no joke. I got to I got to actually go to um, uh, the, the blog real fast and. Um, because I'm pretty sure Wim Hof will be one of these books like in the next couple of weeks after this book, because I, I finished it and I immediately was like, all right. And then I ended up doing my own monthly challenge. Um, uh, let's see here. So we're on um, one. 171. On 171. So let's see where Wim Hof pops in. There it is, 198, right? So it was a couple of weeks later, uh, <laughs> uh, and uh, and I, I was run, reading, running for Sherman, and uh, and you know, and I was like, you know what? 
damn it, I'm going to try this. I'm going to, like, I was like, I want to get back. But, but to your point, the upward spiral of both of them, like, once they both had had each other to help each other through this whole entire process, and then the rest of the team, you know, like, um, they got they got Christopher McDougall's wife into this whole thing. She's on the mm-hmm. corner. She was like, I don't want to do it. And, but, you know, now you're bonding with your family. Now you're doing all this other stuff. And it reminds me of, like, Felicia and I, like, listening to books together and stuff like that. And a lot of these books that come on this journey, you know, are that. And then, hell, then there's you and I, you know, like, going through yep. this whole journey together. I mean, I wouldn't be able to do this without you. You're you know, I don't know who's the donkey and who's the runner next to him, but like, you know, it doesn't really matter. But that's matter. the thing. But that's the beauty of it. Both, I mean, you because yeah. you're talking about, you're talking about, a, you know, you and me uh, running in, in a track, right? A track is circular. Right. <laughs> who's in front, who's behind. And so the thing is, I'm getting better because you're getting better. Right. You're getting better because I'm getting better. Because right. that's the spiral up, right? Like I, I, like I give you an example of the spiral down. Like, you know, you sleep less. Health deteriorate. Yep. Performance, the performance get worse, and they have to sleep less because they have to spend more time doing the shit that they broke. Yep. Right? It all falls apart. Yeah. It falls apart. Yeah. You know, the opposite of spiraling up is you know you get better, I get better, you get better, I get better. Right. It spiral up. So having a purpose between that that a spiral essentially accelerates the the detractions yeah. that we have to whatever journey that we're going. Agreed. I mean, I think. I think that's the, I think that's the, I think this was one of my favorite discussions because like I, you know, you, uh, you know, cause you're, 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 you're just absolutely right. Like, I mean, it's both, it's a job and somebody to do it with, you know, you know what I mean? And it's, it's, and it's both, hopefully that job, not hopefully that job needs to be something you like. It needs to be your forehand. Um, uh, and well, like then, I said, you know, you, know, you, yeah. you gonna, you are going to be fitted to do something that uh, the other, just the other species just can't do. I mean, yeah. you, you, you take the beaver who can build damn better than the beaver besides the human but human don't want to build dams <laughs> i don't so even know that they, we can build a dam better than a beaver i mean or we, we faster. can I mean, we yeah. can but we, we don't build as many we can't build up but, keep up with production i mean it would be tiring we, i mean be like, oh, you know how many you know like, how many <laughs> dam we have built right right compared to how many dam the, the the beaver have you know i don't know i don't know but i'm i'm sure the volume is, is it's, unreal. Right, right, it's right. like a hundred a thousand times more more dams than we built yeah, true how many right? books have you me and amelia read you know um uh, and how many books does the average person read you know like i mean right. it's it's a or how many conversations are i mean like it's it, it's the same thing right it's it's when you're doing what you want to do it's not it's not like you've said all along like it's not it's not work it's it's play right you it's, know but, yeah, but it's, it's work, work to somebody it's, else it's not but, the thing is, to me like everything comes down to the, the word right the word is work work means to me in my mind is you making me put it, an effort into something i don't want right to play is for me to put an effort in something i want you right. go play tennis you don't go work tennis no. Never ever have any anyone say <laughs> I want to go. I want to go work, go work to this. <laughs> well, Andre Agassi probably did. Um, uh, but, uh, but but yeah. Besides, but, but, but my 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 sentiment still right. stands. No, you're he right. He doesn't yeah. want it. <laughs> it caused yeah. what because he didn't want it. I'm gonna go play sales today. That's what I'm gonna go, go play, play sales I'm, today. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go play code today. I love that. That's that's really good. I'm gonna go play code today. You know. Uh, yeah. Um, you know, like it's a because I mean, because you're right though. Like it should be that. Like it should be. Like I'm gonna go play tennis, like you know, because I'm not. You're right; it's not work. I mean, it's it, but it can be work to somebody. I mean, hell, number one tennis player in the world, eight-time Grand Slam champion, thought it was work. You know, um, yeah. Like, uh, uh, I'm sure. I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure there's plenty of people out there that feel like it's work and um, shouldn't. <laughs> then you're doing the wrong thing. <laughs> but the thing is, we we know we know what happens when you work. Look at Andre Agassi. What happens yeah. when you work? Breaks you down. You end up in a. You, you, <laughs> has a mental breakdown. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because that's not what he wanted to do. That's not the expression of what he is. He right. cannot be that unless he wants to. And so no one wants to not express and suppress the expressions of Eugene. You cannot, you don't want to do that because when you do that, you basically cut off your lifeline or your, your, uh, your breath of air. Just stop breathing. I mean, my. I don't know if I, you know, I may be <laughs> insensitive to saying that, but now if, if you're made to breathe, right, try to stop breathing. It's- well, but, 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 you know, humans are funny because we'll probably just be like, look, why don't I just give you an artificial breather? Like, you don't stop breathing. Like, I mean, you don't need, you don't need, we, we can do this for you. You know, like, you're like, no, 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 no you, you can, you can. I know. What, what happens when, when you go to the hospital, they put a fucking like 44 oh. inch tube into, in, in, down, down your fucking throat. Oh, I know. Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm saying they could, they could do it. Like, I'm, I'm saying it, it that, breathes like, for you. It you breathes know, or, for you. Yeah, right. Yeah. 
I mean, I, I've watched Amelia was on a ventilator her entire life, you know, um, that and, it's, it's, it's to me, I would never, ever would want to do that. Right. Unless I have to, because it, it needed to, to prolong my life, you know, right. but even then that is the last thing I want. I don't, I, not, I do not want that as a human being. I want to breathe on my own. hundred percent. I mean, that's, that's what I was meaning. There, there's, 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 there's tools out there that, I mean, you know, when we look at things from a, from a macro perspective, it's like, oh, well, you don't, you don't need to, you don't need to reproduce. We can do that for you. You don't, you don't yeah. need to breathe. We can do that for you. You don't, you don't need to, you don't you know, need to eat. You don't need to eat. We can do it. Inject you with some, 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 whatever fluid it is. You don't need to eat. Right. It's a, uh, I, you don't um, need to have sex. <laughs> we could do that for, I mean, honestly, we could, you, you, you can do that for some, you know, at this point in time, but like, that's the point is like, it's, it's, it's like, you know, taking away people's purpose is it kills them. Like, I mean, like it's, it's, a, yeah, uh, it does. It, it, it's, it's awful. I mean, it's something that I will never do. And actually I, I, I and had so this to me that brings back to you to the, the point I'm grabbing about. It is, we are killing our species. Yeah. We I are work. killing ourselves it's an by, mindset. by subjecting ourselves into this, we're not bees. This, this, bees hives right. of society right we are basically wither away at our own <laughs> demise what however we we construct it we 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 construct our own death machine right which is sad i mean and which is and, sad and so, so this not, is to it's me not irreversible that, it's not irreversible is what we that's know. why like, i think the thing right. is we the, the point is you have to wake up from the matrix Wake up from the help. matrix. Or, because or the first thing help. you have to do, the first thing you got to do is you got to wake up from the matrix. Because if you don't wake up from the matrix, I can tell you about purpose all day long, and That's it true. will yeah. not, it will not even, you know, hit. Yeah. Like, um, you're, that's right. I mean, it, you're, it you're just right. bounces out to the ether. Right. So the the thing we have to do is the activation is to wake up from the slumber of slavery inside of a matrix. You know, you know what's funny is one of the one of the only books uh, I think there's maybe been two on this journey that I uh, no yeah it's been there's been two books in the past two and a half three years or whatever it's almost been since I started this journey um, that I haven't written a reflection on because I didn't want to one of those books was actually a book called Waking Up by Sam uh, Sam Sam Harris Sam, Sam Harris yeah um, uh, and uh, and I I like I was like man this is like. I'm so far. It was basically like waking up out of the matrix kind of thing, you know, and I'm like, man, I'm already awake. Like, I'm tired of this book. Like, I was like, I'm, I, 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 I don't want, I don't want to keep, I don't, I don't know everything. I, just, it, I, I want to talk about purpose. It's, uh, I was like, man, this is just like, I finished it, but I was like, I'm not, I'm not going to dignify this one with a reflection. Cause I'm like, cause I would have wrote a reflection that was like waking up, wake up, you know, like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Like that was, I was like, I get it. Wake up. Like I heard, I'm good. I'm I'm awake. Like you know, like it's. Uh, um, uh, anyway, th that was one of the only. But I think it need it, it needs to be said because most people are still in their slumber because without somebody shaking them up, uh, they have no they have no sense of whether it's reality or it's a dream. I I, I agree. I, if I would have read that book at a different stage in my life, it may have had, had more of an impact on me. Where I was like, once again, none of these things I'm ever worried about the impact. It's always always about learning. But for whatever weird reason, this particular book, I was like, this this just this 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 isn't even a, this. I don't know. I I can't even describe why I didn't like. It was just something about it. I was like, this just doesn't. I, I don't know. Uh, and I, I just couldn't even bring myself to even write a reflection about it after I was done with it. Uh, but, but either way, I, I digress. We're, we're off, we're off topic. Uh, uh, okay. All right. So wrap it up for the day. Uh, I feel like that was a, that was a great discussion as, mm -hmm. as always, but that was, that was a particularly fun one. I really love this book. I mean, you should read it. Are you going to read it? <laughs> sure. Yeah. It sounds yeah. interesting. Look at, look at this little donkey. Look at this. Little, yeah. you, can, you can, you can type in, you know, uh, show the donkey. Sherman from running with Sherman running with Sherman. <laughs> yeah. uh, here's 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 Christopher. Uh, oops, here's Christopher McDougal because he ran the race with him because um, mm -hmm. he got hurt. But here's Christopher McDougal and 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 Sherman. You know, mm -hmm. adorable. Look at these little tiny burrows. A little, a little. Doesn't make you want a donkey. <laughs> <laughs> 
uh, yeah, but I don't want to. Uh, I don't have a, a land firm to run. I have a shed, and I don't want to bring a donkey to a shed. Fair, fair <laughs> enough. Uh, but anyway, yeah, there's there's little Sherman, you know, little donkey mm-hmm. with the heart of gold. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah. Any any final thoughts for the for the day? I like I like the question. How are you working to bring forth what is within you? I think you know you should bring yourself forth. Yeah. Into this world. That's the that. best thing you can offer humanity. I had that quote in here. Um, we talked about this yesterday. I, I like mm-hmm. I said, I I didn't read I didn't read my next reflection yet. We we really we really went too deep yesterday. <laughs> uh, but, but if you bring forth what's within you, you know what you bring forth will save you. If you don't bring forth what's within you, what you br- what you don't bring forth will destroy you. I mean, if you're so, stuck yeah. in a in a shed, it'll kill you. And this is this the thing is that quote. It is actually hard to understand. But now that you have the Sherman um, analogy, right? It's easy to understand. Because the thing is, if you express who you are, you are living the life. Yeah. If you don't express who you are, you are dying away. Yeah. That (laughs) is the exact same quote. Because if if you read this quote, if you bring forth what is within you, what you bring forth will save you. If you do not bring forth what is within you, what you do not bring forth will destroy you. That's kind of difficult to understand. It's profound, but it's difficult to understand. But now you take that quote and compare it to what I just said about Sherman, right? If you let Sherman be Sherman, then he has a great life and he gets better and better. If you don't let Sherman be Sherman, then he just die, withers away with you know bad health and dies. Yeah. It's the exact uh, same quote. It's, 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 it, and this is, and it, this story turns it into a story that, that those words into a visual of you can literally imagine a donkey locked in a shed dying, like almost dying, you know. And now, then you can imagine a donkey running a 15 mile race at 10,000, you know, meters up in, in the Colorado, uh, you know, um, Rockies and, and, you know, having the, having a fucking blast, you know, like, I mean, right? it's 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 the same donkey right like it's it's the same it's the same it's the same donkey um it's just not the same donkey when you have purpose behind you, you right know? so uh, you have this beaver must dam and the other one is let the donkey be donkey <laughs> there you go let the donkey run man you know uh, let with, the donkey with, a run. With, with a friend uh they, they like they like friends so they, they like they don't like to do it alone uh but uh awesome all right well thanks for thanks for joining and thanks for tuning in everyone and um i hope you all are inspired by this book as well and go check out running with Sherman because I know. And I know we'll do the la- part three or three tomorrow. Yes. Part three to coming soon. All right. Have a good one. Good, good night.